Okay, so welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And today, you can see it is windy again. And, oh, I'm gonna put this out there. I am on bird deterrent. <laughs> we got up, had breakfast, went to lunch with the friend, and um, he's trying to get us to move to Idaho. Anyway, <sighs> um, so what I did in this raised bed, and you know, the birds, like somebody mentioned, and I've said this over and over again, the birds are not eating your vegetation because they're hungry as much as they're doing it because they need the water content. But I've got a big jug, a big dunk tank here full of water right next to this bed. And so what I did is I put shade cloth over the top because they're not going to want to fly in there and then, you know, not feel comfortable getting back out and it'll shade those cooler weather crops that are in there um, and lower the temperature. This blocks 40% of the sun and so it'll lower the temperature. Then I put some canning jar lid, this noisy peely wop out here. So it'll, it can make some noise. <laughs> they don't like that either. So. Anyway, um, Michael's got the other kennel up, the newer one, and <laughs> I'm going to go in the house because I'm pretty sure you can't really hear me that well. I fertilized everything that needed to be fertilized and um, planted some more radishes. Uh, let's see, he's putting a shade cloth on the kennel, um, and I'll show you that later when we get it finished. And that'll probably be the kennel for the puppies um, for the summer because we'll have puppies in August and by September they'll be going outside during the day. And Michael got a haircut. Look at my mess. We have not heard whether we're going to get a refrigerator or not, so we haven't put that cabinet back up yet, but we will. So, anyway. Um, <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, you know what? I went, okay, we went to lunch and we don't, we'll go to sushi, but I think this guy really likes barbecue. So he saw the barbecue place here right as he was coming into town. He said, let's meet there. So um, we met and uh, I thought, oh, I don't want barbecue or anything fatty. I mean, I love barbecue. Don't get me wrong. But I had a good breakfast, so I was really not starving. And um, so I, he sent us pictures of the menu, and we said, check the salads. So he sent us pictures, and he made, he made fun with Michael, because, you know, Michael's like, got to have a salad. Anyway, um, I had a spinach salad. I thought this was wonderful, with pulled smoked turkey breast. I didn't think it was that smoky. I would have preferred it had more smoke on it. But it had pulled turkey breast, spinach, thinly, thin, thin, thinly sliced apples. They were so good. Cranberries, bacon, and pecans in an apple vinaigrette that was delicious. It was so good. And they give you like a half a cup of dressing. I'm like, why would they waste all that dressing? Because I like to, when I get dressing on the side like that, I dip my, you know, my fork and then get my stuff on my fork. So it's really not, I don't think I even had a tablespoon of that, but it was delicious. And I'm going to try to duplicate that recipe because it was so good. So I think we're going to have, uh, um, well, I've got elk set out and it's thawed enough that I can grind that. I'm gonna go ahead. Are y'all done? He's not dead. Not dead. But he looks good. He's got a nice haircut. <laughs> so, um, I think, okay, I'm gonna grind the elk up and I've got a piece of um, that skirt steak from Zacon. It's got a little bit of fat in it. I'm gonna mix it in with that so we have a little bit of fat content and um, it'll still be way less than anything that you could buy. Uh, and I think I might make um, burgers, I'm just saying, but we'll have them animal style. Like I think In-N-Out Burger has that burger and you can just have it with no bun. 
Um, I think that's what we'll do since we had lobster last night. That was kind of a splurge on the cholesterol end but and the butter and all that, but oh, it was so worth it. <laughs> so today we're eating very clean and very lean. So, and I was proud of Michael. He had a salad too with barbecued chicken, pulled chicken. So I didn't get to taste his chicken. Was your chicken smoky? It was, because my mm -hmm. the turkey wasn't at all. Did you ask for smoky chicken? Well, I asked for what was on the menu. Smoky turkey? I asked for what was on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> because we had to order, <laughs> we had to order um, <laughs> while we were driving there, because he was already there. So anyway, so now our wheels are turning and we're kind of, looking projection forward on what we're going to do like we're going to stay here or we're going to try to find a new place and i mean just getting ready to sell would be a lot of work Ooh. anyway i don't know that i'm up for that <laughs> but we'll t we'll see anyways and we're going to bring you along so let me get to grinding some meat here Okay, so I'm done grinding the oak meat, and that was a package. I mark it if it's like bits and pieces that don't have a lot of sinew, but it's not big enough for a steak or something like that, then I mark it for grind. You can always use it as stew meat, but I, I was able to whip right through that. And that was about a two pound package, plus another almost a pound of the um, Zacon skirt steak. And they've got a little bit of fat running through them. You know, they're a flap meat. And so it gave it the perfect amount of fat. So uh, one skirt steak to two pounds of the elk meat. And I've got a nice, I have enough here for a meatloaf, but we're not going to do that. We talked about it. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to make smoked elk patties. So I'm going to make nice big, almost like Salisbury steak size patties. Nice big patties that are a half pound or better. And then we're gonna smoke them on the big green egg and I'm gonna make a delicious mushroom gravy to be smother them in at the end. And I think we've got corn on the cob I can do on the green egg. And um, we'll have a salad from the garden. And I, I am gonna put a little bit, I'm gonna put some shallow waterers out there just in case that's the problem. Um, Cause whenever I've had water in the garden, the birds leave my stuff alone, but I noticed um, the robins are taking care of my green beans, which they if they take all their leaves off, they're not getting that photosynthesis. So um, there are places for those robins to drink though in the troughs underneath the plants. So, but we'll we'll see. We'll go ahead and put some water out there for them and see if that works. And thanks guys for putting all that in the comments because it not only helps me, it helps everybody else that it's reading those comments. So. Anyhow, this is going to go in the refrigerator for now. I believe I'm going to mince up, I'm going to spice these. I'm going to mince up some garlic and I've got beautiful, beautiful, look at this purple garlic. Mm. I'm going to mince up some garlic. I'll probably go out and get some herbs out of the garden as well. Get those in there and um, we'll put some onion because I always do a grated onion in my Salisbury steak. And then... Uh, We'll be ready to grill here in about, oh, I don't know, two hours. <laughs> all right. So, but we're going to let that all get happy together. And, okay, I'll meet you back. Maybe when I'm grilling. I don't know. There might be something new. You never know. Okay, so I'm getting ready to put this on the big green egg. And this made two, four, six, and one little one. But the leftovers, I believe tomorrow I'm going to make pizza and... Um, the leftovers will go on our pizza. Yum. Anyways, I've got mushrooms I'm going to slice up, some more garlic. So what's in here is about a quarter to a third of a cup of chopped up fresh parsley, uh, about four big cloves of garlic minced through the garlic press, and one sweet onion grated on the cheese grater. So it keeps the meat very moist because there's hardly any fat. I've got the big green mix uh, going out there, starting to smoke. So I'm hoping that we're at smoking temperature and I can get these on, but it is super windy. Michael's getting ready to mow because we just looked at the weather report and it's like gonna be 53 tomorrow and raining. And we have the grandbabies, oh, oh, it's gonna be an inside day. 
anyways and then we were online looking at um, properties and we found this one it was like oh my gosh we could totally do this and like <laughs> we thought it was in southern Oregon and they did the map thing it wasn't it was in Michigan <laughs> Okay, so I've got my mushrooms prepped and I have all the radish tops. I bought some radishes and they, my girlies love radishes. So I'm gonna go take them out. Michael's mowing and he's already given them two mountains of grass. Now we don't fertilize or do weed and feed on our grass in the back. And we honestly, we have very little weeds. Where we do weed and feed and try to keep it nice in the front, it's full of weeds. Go figure. Oh, and Ragnar's asking to come in. Anyways, I'm gonna go take the girlies this, so excuse the wind, excuse the noise, and we've got our patty smoking on the big green egg. So I'm gonna show you that really quick. And, oh my gosh, okay. So don't, don't get, here we go. We'll turn that down. Love to have music out here, okay. So we got, we're at 225, which is perfect. 225 to 275. Ooh, looky, looky, looky. Don't they look good? Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up a little bit more airflow for them and the daisy wheel up top a little bit more. And then I'm gonna go take the girlies and let you see. So let me just put you on hold here. Okay, so look at their mountain of grass. And the first thing they did was get up on top of that. Look, that feels good. And they scratch and carry on with that, <laughs> stealing blades from each other. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and jump off. See what they do. Oh goodness, there could be some good stuff in here. That's a mushroom, you want a mushroom? I, I've never given, oh, they like them. They like white things. <laughs> Now, this container that the mushrooms came in, I'm gonna poke holes in it, and guess what? I'm planting something in it. I'm probably gonna plant pak choy, um, because you get it in so little time. These girls, I think the excitement, because those were two big mounds, they've already spread it out. <laughs> I might have missed the high point. All right, guys. Okay, they're all wowed up. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Frizz are too fun. Oh my goodness. They've been having a great time. Oh. You're a good left-handed thrower. Jeez. I can't even throw that good and I am left-handed. <laughs> I'm a terrible throw. Oh, she's so excited to be out playing, playing. Don't, don't let him run into my trees. Uh oh, we have a, we have a, a dodgeball going on here. She don't want to give it up. <laughs> Too funny. Oh my gosh, they're frizzaholics. Frizzer doos. They love it. And Shotzi ends up with the frisbee every time. Look at her. <laughs> Good girl, Shotzi. She said, no. You're not getting my frizz. She's that way with birds, too. I will be the retriever. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. Okay, so we got the egg on here. We're still maintaining a perfect temperature. And check it out. Don't they look good? These are done. My gravy is done. I'm just smoking me up some corn. Oh, put a little char char on it. Mm. Yum. Okay. Put it over the hottest part here. Yum. It's almost time for dinner. Okay, guys. Mm. Okay, guys. So look at that. Okay. So this is Michael's plate. He's got a ear of corn that I smoked. Um, a beautiful salad. All the lettuce is out of our garden and the onions and the herbs. And then I did the elk 
uh, smoked elk patties smothered in a mushroom with fresh parsley and garlic gravy and he said it is phenomenal so he said start with one but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have two so guys i hope that you come back subscribe and we will see you tomorrow and if you want to know how to make this recipe in detail go ahead and leave me a comment and maybe i'll make it for you because it's a great elk camp recipe mm -hmm. bye guys join me on instagram and facebook is it worth it? Was it worth waiting for? Oh, yeah. Mm. I'm going to need one more of these. <laughs> okay. Okay. No problem. Mm. Good stuff. Good way to use the elk. Mm -hmm. For sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. You heard it from him. <laughs> <laughs> Say bye. <laughs>